In this video, we'll take a look at several examples of converting angles in radian measure to degree measure. To do this conversion, we multiply by something called a unit fraction, and it's based upon the definition that two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So if we were to take this equation and divide both sides of the equation by 360 degrees, as we see here on the left, it would simplify to pi divided by 180 degrees is equal to one. And this is a unit fraction. But we could also take the initial equation and divide both sides by two pi radians. And if we did, it would simplify to one equals 180 degrees divided by pi radians. And this is also a unit fraction. So we'll use this unit fraction to convert from radians to degrees. And we'll use this unit fraction when we convert from degrees to radians. So let's take a look at our examples. We'll convert this to degrees by multiplying by 180 degrees divided by pi radians. Now notice how we're not including the units of radians. It's normally assumed that if we have an angle where the units are not degrees, it is in radians. So now we'll simplify this and then multiply. The pi simplifies out. Six and 180 have a common factor of six. There's one six and six, and 30 sixes and 180. And now we'll multiply. We have five times 30 degrees, that's 150 degrees and our denominator would be one. For our second example, we'll do the same. Again, notice how the pi simplifies out. Nine and 180 have a common factor of nine, so this simplifies to one, this simplifies to 20. So we have negative two times 20 degrees, that's negative 40 degrees, and again, our denominator is equal to one. Now, occasionally, we'll be given an angle in radians that does not contain a pi, but the process is still the same. We're gonna multiply by 180 degrees divided by pi. Notice here, nothing simplifies, and we normally don't express an angle in degrees with a pi in it, so we're gonna use the calculator to get a decimal approximation for this angle. We're gonna have 2.1 times 180, and then we'll divide this by pi. So this angle is approximately 120.3 degrees.